going to teach you how to assess if your hips are in neutral position or not. So what that means by that is imagine that your hips are this right here. This is neutral position of your pelvis. One side, if we have one leg longer than the other, could be rotated anteriorly or it could be rotated posteriorly, depending on which muscle is shortened or lengthened, pulling your pelvis in that direction. But we want to establish a neutral pelvis, right? So that every movement we do, they're staying together, not one being forward than the other causing more issues. So a good way to self-assess is go into a long sitting position and you're gonna come up and reach towards the inside of your ankles. So that knot right there, that bony landmark, you're gonna grab those with your thumbs and you're gonna kiss them together. And just visually looking, seeing if your um, foot is longer on one side than the other and if your thumbs are meeting one another, that would mean they're the same length. Or if one leg is a little bit further out than the other, based off of where your thumbs are, that's going to tell you. Um, so just off of myself right here, my right leg is longer than my left leg right now. So a couple of different ways you can do this. One, you can just go immediately into hip bridges and you're gonna hold at the top for a couple seconds. One, two, back down. One, two, back down. Reach your legs out and go into a sit up again, putting those heels or the medial malleolus together or the inside of your ankle. And sometimes I can put your um, pelvis back into alignment. So that worked pretty well for me, but I also wanna show you another technique of using a broomstick. So I'm going to put it underneath one knee and over top of the other. And I'm gonna have my legs driving into this broomstick. So this leg is pushing down and this leg is pushing into the broomstick like so. And go into your 90-90 position here. See if I can rotate for you. And I'm going to push as hard as I can with my legs. My hands are just chilling here for five seconds. Three, four, five, and relax. I'll go again. One, two, three, four, five relax and you're gonna do it three times but I'm going to switch here and now it's over top of the other and one two three four five relax and one more one two three four five I'm gonna go into that long sitting position again do a sit up and reach towards my legs, put them together. And they're just as good as they were the last time. Um, this one looks a little bit better actually. So um, that was using muscle energy techniques to have those muscles pull your pelvis back into that neutral position. So one could be rotated anteriorly if your um, hip flexors are tight, so it's pulling your pelvis forward, or it could be rotated posteriorly if your hamstrings have pulled your pelvis on one side um, to make it posterior, posterior and anterior. Again, we want this right here, not one versus the other. And those are just some quick ways to check and see if your hips are in alignment or not. And once you get pretty good at it, you will be able to notice, you know, when your hips are out of alignment with just the tiniest little um, centimeter that you'll be able to notice where your hands are placed on those bony landmarks from the inside of the ankle here. So hope that helps if you're curious, maybe you've been running a lot. Um, sometimes running a lot on pavements can throw our hips or running on uneven surfaces can throw our hips um, or pelvis.